hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing good so this video i'll be sharing with you the best way to shampoo your scalp especially if you're the type that when you enter the shower to shampoo your scalp you get so overwhelmed with water splashing all over your face and then you end up not really getting the vet out so i'm going to be using my friend's head for this and yeah you'll be needing a moisturizing shampoo this is very important and then you need water in a spray bottle clean water in a spray bottle and then a scalp massager this is optional but I just love to use scalp massagers for extra cleansing and massages now the next thing that you do is to spritz water directly on the scalp remember that when you're shampooing your scalp you are focusing on your scalp because it is very important to get the dirt there out so you don't necessarily need to shampoo your hair so that's why I am spritzing water directly on the, uh, on the scalp to help the shampoo foam very well another tip I discovered to this is when you spritz water on the scalp just um, gently massage the water into the scalp to prevent water running all over the the person's um, body or running all over your face then the next thing is to apply the shampoo on the scalp and then you begin to use the tip of your fingers and not your fingers please the tip of your fingers to gently massage and when you're doing this make sure you're not scratching your scalp so you don't injure yourself in the process and then as you do this massage your scalp just Take your time soak it in i just love shampooing i love doing this outside the shower because it's like a very beautiful scalp massage for me and i totally totally enjoy it remember to remember to always always focus on the scalp because that is where we want to get the dirt out from and the reason we are actually doing this outside the shower is because we just really want to get the vet off our scalp so when you're doing this you want to make sure that you are focusing on your scalp and then you divide your hair into sections like i did here and like you know put them in chunky twists this will help you to really focus on your scalp then when your hair is not in twist and then you start to feel overwhelmed so make sure you focus on the scalp again and your hair is in like chunky twist so it's easier for you to get to your scalp and you don't get overwhelmed that i do which is optional is to go in with a scalp massager yo my friend enjoyed this and i love using scalp massagers because it also helps you to shampoo your scalp especially when you feel like your fingers didn't do a good job of really getting the dirt out you can use a scalp massager in this process you are also massaging your scalp and one of the benefits of massaging your scalp is that it increases blood flow into your scalp at which aids in hair growth so when you're done with a section you hold that place in with clamps you hold that section in place with clamps rather and then you proceed to repeat the same thing on the other sections If you've watched to this point and you're finding this video really really helpful please give this video a thumbs up um share it with your friends like and also subscribe okay please subscribe and tap the bell beside the subscribe button i really really appreciate that i share tons of natural hair tips hacks and tricks to just help us in our natural hair journey so please subscribe tap the bell beside the subscribe button so you get notified whenever i post new videos like this
I find this method of shampooing my hair so relaxing and it just gets all the dirt out. You guys don't know, like, I've gone through a lot shampooing my hair and then it, you know, doesn't really get all the shampoo out. And I'm in the shower, I just get it overwhelmed with water. So if you're like me, just try doing your hair in this process. Or if you have a daughter and you want to shampoo her hair, but you also don't want to waste a lot of time and make sure that the dirt is out, try this method. Um, this was my first time trying it on someone's hair. So I couldn't really control the water running down but for you to control the water running down her skin his or her skin or face just make sure that when you spritz water on the scalp massage the water into the scalp so it doesn't run down the person's face immediately Now, after doing this, the next thing that you have to do is just to enter the shower and just stand over there and have water run through your head. Now, it saves you the time to stand there to shampoo your hair, which I love so much. And now, the shampoo just runs through your hair and cleans it. Now, this time around, your hair is not stripped because what your hair is using to rinse out the dirt is the shampoo that you applied on your scalp. So, this is it, guys. I hope you found this video super helpful. Please subscribe, tap the bell beside the subscribe button, and I'll I'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to check out these videos they are super helpful and trust me you will love every single one of them bye